Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. It is going to be a great, beautiful day here in Oklahoma. Um, it's nice and cool. It's probably about 85 degrees right now. Um, they say it's supposed to get hot today, but we're going to take advantage of uh, this morning. Um, bunch of things fixing to go on today. Um, they're getting ready, contractors fix to show up here. We got contractors working inside and outside. As you see, there is a excavator here and they're going to be doing some digging today and that is um, they're going to start putting uh, digging the hole for the uh, what's it called septic tank and then they will go out and dig the lateral lines. They call it something else but um, anyways they're going to be putting the septic tank in and some some type of lines out there. Um, so that's going on and then inside we have as you'll know in the last video that um, that the inside you can tell with it being insulated I don't remember if I come up here and record afterwards but they got all the insulation done um, they had them come back and actually uh, put insulation in these walls uh, they said that um, usually they just put them in the uh, outside walls but um, the sheet rockers will be here today. So today <clears throat> it will be going up. Um, it'll be going up and it, all this is being closed. To, we will not be able to see these walls after today. Um, it's going to look like a house. And then they will come in and do the tape and bedding and texturing and all that good stuff. So um, we're super excited about it just one step closer um, this morning I come up here to just get the trash and stuff and uh, throw it all away and Steph actually uh, come up here late last night we uh, vacuumed it out really good that way there's no actual um, there's no dirt and stuff a lot of y'all recommended to go in and vacuum the corners and stuff out that way there's no trash underneath um, where the drywall is going to be so that's what we kind of did. Steph's out there vacuuming the truck. She getting ready to go to town. I'm gonna come over here with the the goats and the chickens. And um, that's one deal about leaving the goats out. We can't leave the goats out because they eat all the chicken food. So what we're going to end up doing is in the mornings, I just got off the phone with Steph. So when in the mornings or whatever, we get ready to feed. We're going to get all the goats and take them back there, put them in their pen and let the chickens and stuff eat. And then we'll, you know, they should be good. But um, I'm going to show you all a little bit of, I'm going to show you all a little bit of uh, clipping yesterday. Um, I actually thought we lost Jerry. Jerry was, uh, looked like he was dying. Guys, I don't know what's going on. Jerry is having trouble breathing this morning. Turn purple. I don't know if he was. This ain't good. Yeah, he's taking his last breaths. We gotta figure it out. There ain't nothing we can do. He was fine. I, I just pulled up over there and started feeding. Yeah, I'm gonna call the bed. Does it look swollen to you? I tell you, so I'll tell you how it went is this yesterday morning come up here started feeding and I started looking at Jerry and Jerry was turning purple his head and everything he was gasping for air gasping for air and um, I went up to the house I took him up there and uh, told, told Steph you know what so she ended up getting on the phone um, we called the vet and 
they said sometimes it was a respiratory infection, but I was like, he was just fine. It can't be a respiratory infection. So anyways, we worked with him for a little bit and you know, they, she just basically said, there's not really much you can do, not unless it's got something in his airway. So I opened his throat, you know, looked in it and not, you know, try to make sure nothing was messed up. Well, lo and behold, that's it. Lo and behold, um, was walking down talking about the water line here where we're going to actually tie into the water line. And uh, one of the um, uh, superintendents, uh, Charlie, he uh, took a picture of me coming down and all the birds, you know, coming up behind me like they do all the time they follow. And uh, I looked at the picture and I seen Jerry and I was like, Charlie, when'd you take these pictures? He said just a few minutes ago. And I'm, I mean, I just, I felt joy come over me. So I ended up running down here and sure enough, Jerry was right over here by this blue building. Um, it was very, very scary because I thought I lost my buddy, Jerry. Come here. Didn't we? We thought we lost our buddy, Jerry. So we let, just kind of been taking it easy with Jerry uh, since yesterday, but um, it, if I haven't showed you the video, I'm gonna show you now. But he is absolutely awesome turkey. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, we, we lucked out on that. I literally, um, I picked up the phone and I called Kevin. I said, uh, Kevin, I was like, cause that's where the turkey come from. I was like, man, has he ever done this before? And, and he was like, no. He's like, I don't know. So he started doing some research and uh, telling me some things about a respiratory infection. But anyways, um, luckily he's he's okay. So um, with that being said, talking about Kevin. Well, y'all know Kevin's got a YouTube channel called Grounds Family Farm. If you don't, I need y'all's help. Um, he said once he hit 8,000, he messed up and said this. So once he hits 8,000 subscribers, he's going to come down and spend the weekend with us again. Uh, him and his family, awesome family. Guys, if y'all enjoy family content, um, they're doing the same thing as we are, just documenting their life. Um, he's actually a, a, a Arkansas state trooper as well. But he said, "When I get 8,000 subscribers, we'll come. We'll come down. Uh, we'll come down there for the weekend because they come down a couple months ago." And I said, "Okay." So I said, uh, "I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna hold you to it." He'll, uh, yeah. And so they're at like 7,460 or something or 600. I think they need like 500 subscribers to reach 8,000 subscribers. And when that happens, that allows me to get a free day's work out of Mr. Kevin Grounds. And uh, it, it's not like really doing it for the work, but he'll come down and help us. Um, you know, it, it's, it's all in fun, but um, we love their family. They're great people. And uh, it's so amazing how YouTube connects you to people that you had never known. But um, so definitely, and, and I called him last night and I was just hinting around on it. Uh, let me go up here at this gate. Looks like we got somebody at the gate might not know the password. Better move it or lose it. Somebody's at the front gate. There it is. I sure hope that is the sheet rockers. I guess I should have asked if it was the sheet rockers before I let them in. But we're expecting sheet rockers, so I would think it would be sheet rockers. So we're gonna go up here on the hill and, uh, but anyways, back on the Kevin Grounds deal with Grounds Family Farm. I need y'all to go over there, subscribe. We got to get him up to 8,000 subscribers and they're coming back to Oklahoma. So we need y'all's help. 
And uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box. Let's make it happen just like this. Because I told him last night, I said, uh, well, y'all got your bags packed for next week? He was like, what are you talking about? I said, well, you're going to be at 8,000 subscribers and you have to come to Oklahoma. So uh, he was like, oh, whatever. And I was like, bet. Watch. Let's see what happens. Um, so go over there, subscribe to his channel. And uh, great family, guys. We're so glad that um, we, we, we've met them and they've become part of our lives, just like all the other YouTubers. So anyways, I'm going to get up here and uh, kind of see some of the things they do and kind of go from there. So we'll see how much well, uh, they may not be want wanted, they may not want to be recorded. Maybe we'll just see. So follow, stay tuned. If not, I'll show you afterwards. Wow. That's crazy. It's crazy how fast they're going like that. All right, guys, so the construction crew got here that's going to be putting in the septic tank. Um, he's already come back here and dug uh, the hole out here. This is where, I guess, they have this pipe sticking out. Okay, that's the end of where um, it's going to be coming out of the house. So that pipe was just actually there to uh, mark it. So what they're going to do is come out eight foot from the house. They're going to dig down, put the septic tank, and then from there is going to go on out. And from there is going to run it at an angle. And then um, it's going to go downhill here. And that's where all the liquids and stuff are going to actually go through. Um, but uh, he, like Jeff was saying, was you do not want too much of the slope because if you have too much of slope and all the liquids outrun the solids, then that's when you're going to get start having clogs up, clogging things up. But um, Jeff and them was good with this recording, so that's awesome. Uh, we'll get to see a little bit of that, and then we're going to go ahead and so it's going to kind of go back and forth, a little bit of sheetrock, a little bit of digging, and um, kind of go from there and see how things go. So this is what they actually use to get their grade on their slope and stuff. Watching them record right outside the bedroom here. He's cleaning the path out over there. It's gonna be right out our bedroom, so this is, yeah. I think they did like four or five, six inch lifts when they actually put this tank in or uh, this pad in. He's putting the shovel there that way he does, he knows exactly where that pop is. I'm up in Kaysen's room now. It's so crazy how they actually go through the walls here, just like this here. They carried it from all the way through there. Watching these guys, y'all remember when I actually put the sheetrock up in our tiny home. Watching these guys put this stuff up makes me want to go delete that video because there is, I was putting like three or four sheet pieces of sheetrock up a day and it was wearing me out. And these guys have already come through and already got half of the room already uh, sheetrocked. So let me tell you what, these guys are super, super fast. It's just so neat how they go in and just... It's just crazy. There they go again. They just slide through each one of these two before's. So they're 
So I'll come over here, and which they've already got several pieces of it cut here. It's pretty neat how they, I guess they cut it here, and then they go all the way through here, and then through the this side by side, and then goes up there and actually puts it up in the air. Watch them how they actually go through these. Just walking through the walls. I love how this guy's stilts here. Look at that's got to be hard to learn how to walk on. And then we got these guys over here. They're moving the shingles and stuff. Well, they got the pallets and everything over, or the the brick over here inside the house. They said they was going to move all that. So they said they were going to move that so they had some room to work and do all their digging. And that's what they're going to be doing back there. Jeff, how much one of these machines cost? Uh, I rent all my equipment. No, this is the, you rent that too? Oh, no, this, uh, well, this is a sloping laser, so we can set grade on sewer pipes and drain pipes, things like that. So these are about $2,300 just for, oh, wow. the, you know, for, the, for this and the sticks and this type of things ain't very much money, but. So you just um, like leveling or zeroing it out or something right now? Yeah, what I'm gonna do is just zero it out. We know the tank dimensions and we need to get below your slab for you. you know okay. I mean? For when you do your expansion. So we're just gonna simple math it and just laser this out to the bottom of your Sweet. foundation, give it about two inches, and then we're gonna lower it the depth of the tank and then give it another two inches to bed it with gravel. And that's oh, wow. It. That's crazy. And that'll be the edge of your tank there. That, that, that okay. So that's eight foot from the house. Yep. Five thirty seconds. Yeah. Good work, concrete guys, huh? Yeah. How many of them did an amazing job? Yeah. Yeah. Putting in the last piece in the girls' bedroom. I've got him. All right, so they got uh, mine and step bedroom done uh, at the top. They got everything done at the top, and then I'm assuming after they get the ceiling and everything done, that's when they actually go around the uh, and do the walls. But uh, it definitely looks good. Looks good. I'm very, very shocked how fast they are. That's that's crazy. That's wild. All right, guys, so they're going to start the dig. They've confirmed all their measurements, got all the okay to go, and now they are going to start digging the hole. I think you said they're going to be going about six foot deep, and uh, what kind of monitor record going back and forth. Um, a lot of this, like I say, is going to be, we will use to document for our memories. And um, like Steph, she's not here right now. She's uh, in Ardmore. And uh, so when she comes back, she can actually see the video of everything being done. And same thing with the kiddos, they can actually come back after school and actually see all of it actually come up. So they actually go back and watch some of the videos too, especially with the house. You can tell when they did those six inch, or those uh, five, six inch lifts, how tight it actually made all the rock.
amazing. That drill goes constantly. Constantly. I'm going for the kitchen. They're just about done with the kitchen now. They've already got the hallway now. You got Layton's room, got Addison and Braley's room, Kaysen's room. All right, so they've got all the bedrooms done on this side, the ceiling. And I can only imagine how fast it actually goes once they get on the walls because the ceiling is a lot harder. That's where I actually had the issue with the tiny cabin. But watch, like I said earlier, guys, watching these guys put this concrete or this uh, the sheetrock up, it is, I'm almost half, I'm almost embarrassed to even keep that video up of me actually uh, putting sheetrock up in the tiny house. But he walks around on those stilts. It's like just another set of legs for him. He's just moving around like just going. I know it's got to be hard to walk on them. I can guarantee you that. All right, come out here and take a look out here. Wow, that is really, really deep. Now he's down into the dirt. And as you see, he's got it separated. He's got dirt and then there's the screenings. That's some good digging right there. And you can see right there where that clay, oh no, that's actually where the dirt starts right there. The top part is actually the screenings, I do believe. And then you can see where the actual dirt starts. All right, he's gonna finish up on that, dig in there. And then uh, we're gonna go take a look at sheep rock. Wow, that's crazy. Makes it look so easy. What shall they actually bring these through the walls here? That's crazy. He's grabbing them on this side, over here, and then they're coming through the wall. <laughs> wow, stepped out just for a minute. They about got this dude done. It's coming together quick. And I'm assuming they're getting ready to start working on all this out here. He's going to start putting the sheetrock up over here in by the bathroom. All right, they've already got this room done. So they're putting up the last piece of the ceiling right now in the little room there. Hey, tell you what, you're talking about getting after it. These guys, wow. I don't know if this is like every sheetrock crew, but these guys are slinging some sheetrock, let me tell you. But it, it's, it's neat watching all this go up and uh, just kind of getting to see how everybody does each uh, step. I'll just, I'll just undermine it, I'll just undermine it, and I'll just start ripping up the side. Just so we have a little bit more back. Come along, come along. All right, guys, it is 
you can already tell the the sound is starting to sound different but um i was watching him he was measuring from there to there's 20 inches that's where he comes in and cuts that circle out and then um i learned what these were the other day they're um i forget what they call them something plate blockers or something that's so they don't get in the electrical lines or actually get into the water lines man what's that word they use I can't think of what the word is they use, but um, it's... And I've seen those before, like in the tornado deal. I remember seeing some of those as they were doing cleanup and stuff, so it does make sense. Watching them dig from the laundry room. They're getting after it now. He's getting down there and getting all the dirt out of there, and that's going to look good when it's ready. All right, they still got a couple more pieces, but they look like they still have four or five pieces left there. So that's what we're going to do. the last full piece that they're going to be putting up there. Look at him get on those fields, man. He is fast. That's so cool. All right, looks like he's got the hoe dug now, so they're probably going to start digging out that way just a little bit past um, past the square here. goes the first wall up. All the goats are sitting down there just chilling. Staying cool. There's moon spot. One of these days, that's going to be the thing from the past down there at the tiny house. One of these days. Looks like now he's going to put some screenings in the bottom of it to give it a good foundation. Got the girls' room done. That's what I like about it.
Watch your step. So this is the girls' room. Wow, the sound is already changing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty neat. But it actually kind of looks a lot smaller now. Yeah, I knew it would when we actually... Got it the, yeah. the sheet rocks like this thing or whatever, so I knew that was going to add it to the place. Crazy. I've noticed they start from the top and work their way down. All right, guys, they got half of the hallway done. All right, looks like they're back from lunch. Oh, yeah. That's a compactor, huh? Yeah, it is a plate compactor. You get it wetted down, and like I said, I just hate to think that your tank can settle over it. Yeah. I appreciate that. Do what we can anyway. You ready for the water? Yes, sir. Anytime All right. You are. Get again with the new motor, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I didn't know how long to have it, like a month or a couple of weeks or something. Not even probably a month. Probably like two weeks I had it, and then, uh, Throttle body went out on it. <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yep. So what he's gonna do, he, he's lowered the packer down in there, or the vibrator. They put water on it, and they're going to uh, settle that in, try to make it really good uh, for the actual uh, septic tank to sit in. Um, because later on we do want to come across here and pour a pad so um, he's just going to try to get it to set in as best he can after lunch now and uh, everybody's back to work um we just all got done uh eating pizza steph brought in four pizzas and uh these guys here are actually out of oklahoma city so that's probably about an hour and a half from us um and besides you know them all having to go to town and everything um they wasn't really familiar with the area so it worked out perfect um Man, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed filming it today. It's just so neat to see all this stuff actually go up, how fast they are. And, I mean, they just work. It, it, it's, it's crazy to see how they do it um, as a team. And even, like, one guy coming over and picking up a, sheet, a piece of that sheetrock, that is absolutely crazy. Um, like I said earlier... Man, I thought I was doing something down there when I was putting the sheet rock up in my tiny home. These boys here, yeah, they make me look terrible. They could have done that in probably about an hour, uh, actually finish that whole house. So we're going to get a little bit more footage today. They're not going to finish it today. So once they leave, me and Steph and the kids will come up and we'll actually start cleaning it out. That way they can start back on a clean floor. Uh, most of the rooms will be done back there, so it'll work out perfect. So let's go over there and take a look.
going to be super excited to see what it looks like when they get home. Um, which we're going to come up with a sheetrock, and I was kind of thinking this leftover sheetrock, I may end up taking the leftovers down there to the uh, chicken barn and actually uh, put that sheetrock up in there and put putty on it and stuff because if it runs, I can just take it down. There's no use to all this sheetrock go to waste, these uh, smaller pieces. So we'll see how that goes. Right here. Just cuts it real easy. Pop it. Damn, it's good to go. There you are, locking us out. So that's going to be the shire part there. Simple as that. He puts one piece up and then gets another measurement while he's turning in. That's pretty good teamwork right there, guys. Then he, he will take it and he'll go up here. He comes right over here. They come by that and they, can, they go straight over there. front room now. Okay, so we are down here right now. Um, it's a little bit windy, my mics are dead, but we're trying to figure out where um, they're, or they're trying to figure out where they're going to put the lateral lines or whatever kind of lines they call it. 
Um, we're just hoping that we do not have to lose our trees. Um, those two, there's a couple that we don't mind, but the other ones we're just like, yeah, we hope we don't lose them. But that's what he's trying to do right now is get a layout of the ground. All right, so what they're doing now is putting some stakes in and they're gonna stake it up there and then they've got to come out. To All right, guys, so since I've been here watching them put up the sheetrock, there's been something flying around here. And it took me a little while to figure out, but we have got squatters that are already in our home. Can you believe it? But here's the deal. I tracked the squatters down, and I'm fixing it, Vic, them. So let's see. I found them right here. Y'all remember he was flying around if I showed you that earlier. So now um, I watched him go in the crack here, so I found it. So now I'm gonna get something to knock it down because we don't want them building a nest here and living here for a long time. So I'm gonna get something to knock them down. I'm just glad I found this before it's too late. Probably after we close the doors and stuff, he probably couldn't get back in here, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of it just in case he's already laid eggs. I don't know what they do in there, but we're gonna take care of these squatters and get them out of here. It's spiders, look at that. Just yesterday or a couple days ago, Paul was actually telling me they get these things built and they catch these little red spiders and they put those spiders in there. I guess they put the spiders in there to feed the babies when they're born. I don't know, but luckily they're gone. No more squatters in our house. So anyways, we're gonna walk back here and see what the construction workers are doing and see um, what their next step is. All right guys, they are just about to finish up. They're putting up one of the last pieces here. And then he's putting up the last piece over here. And then there's the last piece there. It's been awesome. They were super, super fast. They did this whole house in one day. That is crazy. That is moving now. Um, now here's the deal. It's gonna be fun cleaning it up, but that's perfectly fine. Once again, I know we don't have to, but we want to clean it up for the next crew that comes in and uh, just show our appreciation. It's been amazing um, watching these guys. They've done a wonderful job. And just kind of finishing up on the last piece. This is going to be the last piece that goes up in the house. Last piece. Last piece looks good. Going right there on the corner. Looking good. Oh, he just come in. That squatter just came in. He's trying to find his house. Where'd he go? There he is. He's like, oh, where, where'd my house go? He's like, I know. Hey, it's closed up, buddy. It's closed up. You might as well leave. There it is, guys. The squatter's gone. I guess the the uh, tape and mud people will be here next. Probably Tuesday, I think he said. All right. Looks like they got it staked out over here. He's putting some paint around it. 
How many rows you got to go? I have six. Six. Five. I mean, five. Sorry. So it's uh, 60, 70, 70, 50, 30. That gives us a 10 foot buffer. Okay. And we have nine inches, more than nine inches of fall at each location. So this is good. This is real go. That'll be fun. Got a plan. And when are you going to start uh, digging these? Tuesday? Probably Tuesday. Tuesday. That's the goal. Guys, so the kids and them just got back from the ball game, so they're coming in to see the house for the first time. Coming in to see the house for the first time. Oh my god. Wait, huh? this little one's actually pretty big. That's what I said. Yeah, because oh, everything was old. I'm a little bit of 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 a little well, it does look different, don't it? We got two beds. It used to look big, but it's still big. Yeah, it's still about the same size. It's like having two of the rooms y'all are sleeping in now. No more walls. Actually, we walk all the way around. Shower. Got a shower, bathroom. Me too. That's the biggest. What's this sound like? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, it does, don't it? Y'all see it? Oh, y'all be. I can't read. I'm just kidding. That's where our poop's going to go. That's a big septic tank. So the kids finally come back and they got to see the house. We've, um, it's been a long day. So, uh, this is what they put on with, the with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I'm, I think here in a few days they're going to be back and they'll start doing taping, bedding, and mudding. But, um, pretty much the day was a pretty fulfilled day of uh, work on the house so um, thank y'all so much for watching if you're new to the channel be sure to like and subscribe hope you have a wonderful day god bless yeah